Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind and today I would like to say thank you to everyone for hit, helping me hit 300 subscribers. That has been a big moment for me and I'm very happy. I hope that this all continues and I'm glad that you guys like the content that I've been producing. Now this next video that I have for you is a viewer suggestion brought to you by Noah the Dead Dude and it is an item sorter. So right here you can see that that is the sorting input up there. Right here, you can change these with whatever item you want. Right here, we're going to use redstone, redstone torches, and repeaters. Obviously, you guys probably won't want to be using this to uh, sort out your different redstone components. So in a minute, we're actually going to build this to be much more useful for you guys. But I'm going to chuck 15 of each of those in there just in a random order. So first we have our repeaters. You'll see that 14 goes into the bottom, 1 goes in the top, making 15. So there we go, 14 in the bottom, 1 in the top, and that one is loading as well. So there you go, you can see that this thing works fine. Doesn't matter how many items you put in it at once, it will not overload and break itself. But that is enough of me talking about this, now let's see how to build it. Alright, so jumping right back into it, we are going to be looking into this chest right here to see our items we'll be needing. So first, we are going to need two hoppers and one chest for the one input chest that you are going to be putting. And then per layer, you will need four hoppers, two chests, one redstone torch, one redstone repeater, one piece of redstone, one redstone comparator, two circuit blocks of your choice, four items that preferably stack to 16, such as snowballs, signs, or eggs. Go, I, I renamed these, obviously, you don't have to name them subscribe, but it would help me if you did. Uh, then you will need an item frame just to label what goes in each chest and all of your decoration blocks. So let's quickly grab all of this. And these are all of the items that we are going to be sorting. So obviously the very first and most important is the redstone, then the diamonds, emeralds, lapis, coal, uh, iron, gold, and cobblestone. So anything that you will get typically from a typical mining session if you don't have silk touch. If you do, replace all of those with the ores if that's what you kind of like to do. Whatever you want to do, it's really up to you. But to start this out, we are going to need a 5x8 area if you are only sorting three items. I would recommend sorting at least three or else what's the point of not just throwing it in the chest. But anyways, to start it out, we're going to stack up three double chests just like that. Hoppers running into those. Then on top of the uh, one half of the double chest and the hopper, we will stack a second row of double chests. It will be slightly staggered. Throw hoppers running into that second row of double chests, and then we will count back one, two, and on the third block from underneath that second set of hoppers, you will place three repeaters. Run those repeaters into any kind of circuit block, whatever you choose. I use yellow wool, as you guys probably know. Then I put three red uh, redstone torch on the face of each of those blocks. And then go ahead and build up blocks like this. We will place our hoppers running that direction into those blocks. Remove those temporary blocks and place comparators. Then uh, behind your repeaters, place a block, and in front of your comparators, just like that, place a block, and fill all of those six in with redstone. Like I said, you can this is infinitely expandable. You can make it a million blocks long if you have that much iron. If you do have that much iron, you must be really rich. I envy you. But there we go. That is all of our materials that we are going to be sorting. So we're going to start out by placing... Four of our 16 stackable items in there. Four of our 16 stack items in there. So mine are renamed, as you can do with an anvil. And then you will actually place eight items in there. Set, I placed seven in, and that dropped one into that first hopper. But if you place eight in, then it'll fill all of the hoppers totally. But anyways, here we go. We're going to place the uh, second set of name, renamed items. Hit that like. And place the diamonds in there so as you can see that goes down to six that will go down to six no matter how many items you put in there then we will go ahead and place our third item in there leave a comment and there's our emeralds 
And now you should be looking something like this, with your chests, your hoppers, your comparators, your repeaters, your torches. You should have it all in place. And the next thing I am going to do is just add in our last hopper line here so that we can go ahead and put in our input chest. So right here we're going to have a block at the end and run all of the hoppers into one another just like that. And let me build one extra outside of our platform so we can place in our last hopper. After that, you will place a chest sitting on top of this hopper if I can do it, and there we go. So we got it. You will need to be crouching while you place that chest, just to clarify. So there we go, and that is everything all done. If you want to, you can use this thing as it is. Just match that right there. I'll have the dimensions of that in the description and all the materials needed for that in the description. So do be sure to keep an eye out for that. But now, we are going to build the rest of this thing in a typical time-lapse fashion. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now while we are doing this time lapse, I would like to say once again thank you very much to everybody for all of their support and all of their nice comments that they've been leaving down in the comments section. I do appreciate everybody's feedback. It helps me make my content even better if I know what you guys actually like. So <clears throat> there's that. That's all out of the way. Thank you very much for all of the support and everything like I've been saying. That is super awesome. Going into this uh, YouTube channel, I did not think I would be receiving that much support, but you guys have been great, and everybody seems to be really liking the content that I've been producing, so I'm going to go ahead and keep producing it, uh, as though I'm sure you guys know that I am not getting compensated for any of this or anything like that. I don't have very many subscribers. I just started posting content within the last month or so. But having said that, within the last month, I would say that we have been doing a pretty good job of getting this channel grown and recognized. So thank you all so much for your never-ending support and nice things to say down in the comments section. But on to the sorting system itself, I would uh, say that you do not have to put renamed items in there. I just did so that if a snowball accidentally got dropped in this thing, it wouldn't break the whole system. But uh, like I said, if you have no intention of snor sorting snowballs then by all means just don't rename them and i do want to say thank you to mumbo jumbo for number one stealing way too many hours of my life with his videos and also number two for giving me a uh the inspiration to make this design capable in the bedrock edition of minecraft so now let's decorate it and that's how we're looking after it's all done and decorated so i suppose all we've got really left to do is give this thing a test run real quick before i end the video so let's run in we're going to chuck randomly in cobblestone, lapis, diamonds, emeralds, redstone, coal, iron, and gold. And all of that, you can see, is going nice and uniform into the uh, sorting system that we've got here. So there we go. Our lapis is in there. All of our stuff is in here. We are getting everything pretty good, just how we want it. Nothing's getting jammed up. In a second, we should see. There it is. Our coal starts flowing in here. And you'll notice that one extra item has not de been delivered in here, and that's because I only placed set seven items in there, so it did not fill up that one extra hopper that we have. So the next thing we are going to do is go ahead and do a quick double check and make sure that none of our items got mixed up. This thing didn't get terribly broken by just throwing all those items in at once. And there we go. We can see that we actually have not all nine items in all eight of our chests. And that is all I've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you did like this video, please do le hit that like button, leave me a comment, and please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Rob's Mind, and I'm out.